last is nice. I like multiple sequence alignment more than all those pairwise alignment approaches. So I like MSA and tree building, and I'm going to talk about both of those things. We're going to look at tools and services, and the tools that we're looking at now are over here on the right in the protein tools section. And the first one, I'm just going to cover it really quickly, MSA and SNP variation analysis. It's not the, the in-depth SNP calling that was covered earlier, but it's just looking at single variable positions and an MSA. So options for submitting the job include things like feature group, and we provided a feature group for you, which you can find in the workspace for this tool the BVBRC workshop and multiple sequence alignment and SNP viewer. In there, there is this group that's been used before and you can enter it. And there are some other options. One thing that's a little different than things we've talked about before, if you're interested in viruses in particular, it is possible to align complete genomes of viruses except for the largest viruses. So you can align viruses that are up to 250 kilobases. And for that, you would use a genome group entry. You would have created a group of genomes for the viruses of interest. You can also upload your own FASTA file. And you could also enter multiple sequence FASTA into the text box. But we're just going to go back for this example to this particular feature group, which is a set of genes and you have a choice of MAFT or muscle as the sequence aligner. And then for the out group, I'm just going to send the work here. Endosymbiont bioredoxin MSA. Just going to call it that. And to tell you the truth, I'm not even going to submit this job because we have the pre-baked output done. Instead of submitting it, I'm just going to skip Going back to the multiple sequence alignment folder in the workshop folder, here's the output from that. This is one of those tools that has the big blue eye in the upper right corner for the default best view of it. And that is this MSA view. It's a different MSA viewer than Rebecca just showed you. This is like the more capable one. This is a great alignment. I mean, these genes are nicely conserved. These would be great material for building a phylogenetic tree out of, because you can see that although there's a variation, there's no regions that look like they're just garbage, poorly, poorly aligned. So I really like this set of genes. The other thing that this tool provides that's different from before Here's one thing, which is that of the entropy, there's an entropy plot, which basically is which positions are more variable going across the entire alignment. And you might be interested in if there's, say, some regions that are remarkably more variable than others. Here, the variability comes in patches, but it's spread across the whole gene. You might be interested in that. And then there's another table, which is called the .snp.tsv which is a table view of by position of what the variants are at each position. And there's lysines, arginines, three innings. This detail column tells you how many of each different amino acid there are at that column and how many sequences are aligned at that column. Since it's in a different tab, you can go back to this view of the multiple sequence alignment. And you'll notice that the beginning of the sequence has mostly gaps because they don't all align cleanly at the very start, plus a few misguided misalignments of that M start code on by the aligning tool. Trimming this off, I think this should be trimmed off if you are going to go into tree building. I just mention that because in tree building, we will be trimming that off. So therefore, I think that I've done showing you the relevant, interesting files that are generated by this multiple sequence alignment job. The other thing that I think would be interesting would be to do a virus whole genome job, but I don't have a pre-built example. It would be interesting to go into a virus group and maybe select a bunch of genomes, 10 or 20, and submit the job with those, but I won't drag you through that because I think that would be 
a little painful to watch me work uh, de novo impromptu right up here.